typically, especially within uh, the gay community, before people come out, they are um, ashamed, confused, and, and at least they give a try to live in a, a quote unquote normal lifestyle. You're talking about the down low men. I'm talking about before people come out. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, before you came out, had you ever been with a woman? Um, when I was in grammar school, I had girlfriends like that. But actually, I've never actually had intercourse with a girl before. Never. Got you. Never have. And I don't really have an urge to do it or ever plan on doing it. I've had many women coming at me, though. It's so many girls that actually want to have sex with me. <laughs> oh, you, you're talking about currently? Yes, currently. I've had girls hit me up. Do, no, hold on, me. hold on. Do they know who you yeah. are? They know I'm trans. They know I'm trans. They know what I have. And they want to have sex with me. Yes. How, how does that conversation even come up? Um, and they'll hit me up. They'll be like, are you into girls by any chance? <laughs> because there are trans women that fuck girls. There are a lot of them out there, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> okay, you I just said, educated you just educated me again. I had no I, I thought that that goes completely against. No, it's in the transition. It's a lot of beautiful trans women that have sex with girls. Yeah. But only thing I can say that I ever did with a girl was let a girl fuck me with a dildo. For my OnlyFans. <laughs> That's about it. But me fucking them, no. But I have very, very, I've had some female groupies hit me up in my DM on Instagram and Twitter. They like, yo, I want you so bad. Like, I would have sex with you. You're so beautiful. I want to be with a pretty trans. But they always tell me they always had a fantasy to have a sex with a, a, a cute trans girl. And and hold you to this. It's been times where I've had couples hit me up too. You've actually yeah. had couples. Yes. A meaning meaning of, heterosexual couples? Heterosexual couples, yeah. Yep. That they want to have a threesome with a with a trans girl. And I will admit that I did do that one time, but I don't think I fulfilled their fantasy because I was only into the guy. <laughs> the girl was just sitting there watching really and she played with my breasts and lit my nipples and all that and but I think she got a kick out of seeing her man fuck me I think it turned her on if you don't so, mind me asking what were, were, were they white were they black they were black they were black black young couple very attractive the girl was very pretty. The dude was pretty. He was, no, very handsome, not pretty. He was very sexy. I met them in a club when I was out in the club and they had recognized me. This was around kind of like the 2011, 2012 time around when I kind of first started coming out. I was more so internet famous, world star hip hop. I was on that a lot, media takeout. These, you know, people recognized me. They like, you're Sydney star. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, you're the one that has all that drama going on with Chingy and all that. I'm like, yeah, that's me. So then the girl comes over to me, whispers in my ear and like um, tells me, oh, me and my guy, we want to have you for the night. And I was like, what? I looked at her. I'm like, y'all, you joking, right? <laughs> she like, no, we will take you home. We'll make sure you're good. We'll make sure you get dropped off. <laughs> but we want to fuck you tonight. And I was- It was the girl who propositioned you? The girl you? who approached me and talked, yeah. The dude didn't talk, say nothing. I'm like, you sure your dude said this? She's like, I guarantee you he said that he wants us to have you for some fun tonight. So I, I was already in the drink three. So I said, let me have a few more drinks and then I'm gonna let you know how I feel, what I'm gonna do. I ended up leaving with them. I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous. I was thinking to myself, are they about to kidnap me? Are they about to do something to me or what? But I was living life. I was young. I was a little bit younger then. I was living life. I said, fuck it. Let me, let me do this. Let me see what's to it. They had a nice little, um, you know, apartment. It was nice. 
I got there. All she wrote, it was history I can write in a book. They were all over me. I felt like I was just a queen because he was up there. He had one titty, she had one. And <laughs> I was just like, wow, this is really happening. And um, it was something that I actually kind of recorded too. Um, she recorded it off my phone. I still have a little bit of a video of this to this day on my old, old phone. So Are you serious? yeah, she was recording him fucking me on my phone. <laughs> yeah so it was definitely an experience so i did the couple things one time but i've had that happen to me lately guys they're hitting me up like me and my girl want to you know experience you we want to have a threesome with you but I, don't, I haven't done it i haven't done it now the two guys i've done though i do that often quite often what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.